is up guys, welcome back to the Supes channel. My name is Matt Supes Ramos and on this channel I am to entertain, inform and inspire you using the topic of discussion as always, which is superheroes, pop culture and everything going on in the world and today we happen to be talking about Transformers 1. I said at the beginning of the year, my top 5 most anticipated films at the top of that list was Deadpool and Wolverine and right behind it was Transformers 1. And now guys, I have seen it. I have to keep this short and sweet. This isn't going to be a full review because there is still an embargo. It's just a reaction. But... Now having seen the film, I want to point you guys, before I give my reaction, to two other things that are currently happening right now. First off, Paramount has been showing this film out two months before its September 20th release. They had a couple screenings in July, they're also having a couple, a couple more screenings in August, and you know, I was a part of one of those screenings and I got to see it, and that is the biggest sign of confidence by a movie studio this year. Studios never publicly show their films to you know audiences two months before its release but that's just a sign that paramount is that confident in this film and another thing everyone who has seen the film has been absolutely loving it so now having seen transformers one guys i can tell you directly that this is the transformers film we've been waiting for before going into this film i was predicting that it was going to end up on my number three on my all-time transformers uh films ranking right behind Dark of the Moon and the original Transformers. However, now that I've seen Transformers 1, I can't even compare it to the other live action films because it just doesn't feel fair because this is an entire film that gives more depth to the characters of Optimus Prime, Megatron, Bumblebee, and just the entire lore behind the Autobots and the Decepticons and Cybertron itself. This is an entire film that's dedicated to giving all of this more depth than it's ever had before. And these are the best written versions of these characters we've ever seen. It's just, again, it doesn't feel fair to compare it to the other live action films. Because this is a film that has that luxury where we can see Megatron and Optimus on screen from beginning to the end. We don't have to spend time with humans to save money on the budget. No, this is an all out animated film that finally gives us so much of what we've been wanting to see in the live action films. And the best part of this film goes back to the main focal point of the marketing, which is the origin of how Orion Pax became Optimus Prime and how D-16 became Megatron and how they went from brothers to enemies. And the way this film depicts that story is absolutely perfect. It's executed so well, you know, when things happen, it makes sense that they're happening at this point in time. The I guess the journey of their relationship over the course of the film is paced so well. It's not like, you know, all right, now they're enemies because, you know, we need a third act and, and we, we just need something to happen to spice up the story. No, it all makes sense. I also got to tell you guys that my favorite moment in a Transformers film ever is when Sam revives Optimus in Revenge of the Fallen. I watched that film as a six, seven year old kid and it absolutely blew my mind and it's a core memory for me. It's stuck, it's stuck with me to this day. I still remember exactly where I was sitting in the theater, you know, what I was eating, like just everything about that moment I still can just go back to in this moment right now. However, having watched this film, I now have a new favorite Transformers moment and this moment that I'm referencing is, you know, it's comparable to What's Up Danger from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And we not all knew exactly where we were when we saw that scene because it's it's one of the it's arguably one of the best scenes in a superhero film, period. So, dude, again, it just feels like this is the Transformers movie we've been waiting for. They do these characters so much justice, and it really truly feels like they have a vision for where they want to take the story. They're not just making this film just to make it. This is intentional. There's a plan in place and my God, we need the sequel. We need the threequel because they have said that they have a planned trilogy in place. And I just had an absolute blast with this guys. I cannot wait to watch this again. I'm actually pretty freaking angry that I can't watch this for another month again. Honestly, I'm more excited for what's to come in the animation department with this particular story and future installments than I am in the live action stuff. While I'm still excited for the live action stuff, this is where it's at when it comes to peak Transformers storytelling right now. So, guys, I can't wait for you guys to experience this film. Again, go watch it opening weekend because my audience was going freaking crazy. There were so many moments, so many Easter eggs, so many just... It, it's a, This is an experience, dude. This is a Transformers film that provides an experience. So, 
With that being said, let me know in the comment section down below what are you guys most excited to see in Transformers 1. Like this video, subscribe, hit that bell notification on my channel to get notified for future videos. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching this one. I love you guys 3000. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next time.